Okay, so Tim, we are in the command center. I'm hiding back here. I've, I've watched a lot of these videos, and now I know exactly how it's done. <laughs> yeah, okay. This was designed to, for speed and overdubbing, because I spent my whole life in recording rooms looking to the side of people, being in the corner. In, it just, it, the feng shui of overdubbing always was a little problematic. So what this is, there's a client desk. It's mirrored Pro Tools stations. I can run it if I'm faster. The engineer can run it if they're faster. If the teenage artist is losing interest, I can do something to raise her level of attention. If, if everybody's looking at their iPhones, I can try and get them out of that mode because <laughs> I'm looking straight at them. So, and for communication, I can see if somebody's about to make a move. What, it, what it's designed to do is to shave five seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds off of every task so you can get four hours of work done in two hours. And it's worked like a dream. I really, really love it. The monitoring, uh, you know, I have monitors facing me and there are monitor monitors facing the clients. So there's a little bit of a wash from the monitors. That's the only drawback to it. So basically it's an airplane cockpit. So at the heart of it, in, oh, and we're gonna film this, I have my blast area downstairs. I have a vault with six 412s and a Vox cabinet too. So, wow. and these 412s all have different speakers. I went crazy with vintage speakers at a certain point. So there's speakers from 68, 1970, 1971, and 1978, and then brand new ones, and then ones that have been reconed that are original vintage speakers with recones. And that's a thing too, those sound good too. Okay, so how are you just, okay, speaking about your, your cabinets alone, how are you controlling which amp is going to which? Are they dedicated to one or you can you switch them up? So there's a Kahayan amp switcher right here. And, you know, there's a couple of really good amp switchers available. This is Kahayan. They're friends of mine in Spain. And I even visited them in Spain last October. So this particular one is their big one. <laughs> you can do 16 heads and eight cabinets. Wow. I'll never get there. But... Well... I who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So all I do is choose the head and choose the cabinet. And then I have mic priests dedicated and microphones dedicated to each cabinet too. So I choose a pair of mics, which is usually a 57 and a Roy or a 57 and another dart, large diaphragm mic. And I just, I choose whatever head. And this is my palette of heads right now. So I've got the divided by 13. The park. A lot cleaner, a lot more headroom. Number three is this Joe Morgan Vox AC-15, which really distorts nicely. And then amp number four is my Bad Cat. Ooh. You just heard the gate on the Bad Cat Lynx. It's a really great high gain sounding head. I don't use that sound that often, but I want it there when I need it. Okay, move to the Bad Cat Hot Cat. Cleaner, more headroom. Right, and then I move to my Marshalls. The top Marshall is a 1968 Super Tremolo that a friend of mine had for 50 years and then sold it to me. And the thing about Plexis, you guys probably know this, they're pretty clean. So yeah. it's, it's a really great loud clean air. And then Paul Reed Smith uh, gave me this other head that's great. It's a, a Marshall PA head. I think Eric Johnson had it for a while too. It distorts beautifully. Okay, so I like amps that get to the edge of breakup. And then I like to do the rest with pedals. So if I